more of these plays run, and that one went for a big game. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Flush to his right. He'll run it, and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. They'll try to left side. It's Carson. The 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Chris Carson, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are back within a single score. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have the lead, now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half, that worked okay, but in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. First down, Rams. Back-to-back good plays have them on the move on first down. Watch the play. Hey, kill, kill. Five. Five. Gurley. The tackle made by K.J. Wright. To throw on second and six. Goal. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 28. On first down, going. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. On first down, it's Gurley. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Throwing on second and eight. Golf. And he'll find his target. Woods, it's complete. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Goff to Woods as the Rams move the chains. A shotgun snap for Golf. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Malcolm Brown there to make the grab. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. Zerline good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Yeah. 
Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the 30 on second down, Wilson. This could be to lock it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. He lets it fly for Lockett. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. On third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And Gurley here fumbled it. Gurley fumbles the football. It's loose. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like It's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. We're good. We're good. Goff going to hand it to Gurley. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Hey, 76. 76. Go, go. Another carry now for Gurley. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. That's it, baby. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That good for 19 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate.
And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. On first and goal, Gurley. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. In the backfield by himself is Brown, second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Now Goff on third and goal. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. From three yards out. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for let's and taken. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. A big hitter to start the drive. Drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. From the shotgun, Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now it's Wilson. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Wilson now 10 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. Watch the screen. To throw again is Wilson. And he's got his man on the out route. And out of bounds right around the 20. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. So on fourth down, here's Jason Myers for the Seahawk field goal. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. A 37-yard attempt. And the kick here is good. So add three to the total. But they're still coming up well short. And that is how this one comes to an end. Well, this one provided some good drama. 